spread both of your arms out as you imagine the energy flowing from your chest through your arms all the way to your fingertips. Okay, whoosh. Can you do that? Whoosh. Okay, send the energy from your heart all the way out to your fingertips. And, re and repeat after me. Say it with me, okay? Whoosh. Whoosh. Energy, energy, on you go. Whoosh. Whoosh. From heart to fingers, you do flow. Whoosh. Whoosh. There you go. Send that energy out to your fingertips. From your heart to your fingertips. There you go. Now raise your hands, or your arms up over your head three times like this. Will you reach out your imagination like the branches of a tree? Whoosh. Whoosh. Energy, energy, up you go. Whoosh. Whoosh. From heart to universe, you do flow. Whoosh. Whoosh. Keep your arms up now like the branches in a tree and imagine the sun shining on the leaves of your branches. Can you feel that? Can you feel the warmth of the sun in your leaves? Isn't it a wonderful feeling? Spread your fingers and feel the energy flowing into you from the universe. That's it. Now we're going to bring that down. Ready? Okay. Energy, energy, come to me. Repeat it. Come on. Energy, energy, come to me. That's it. Down and down and into me. Your turn. Through my head and into my heart. That's the very best place to start. Now bring your arms back down and place your hands on the center of your chest. Take a moment to feel the energy there and to know that you've done the exercise right and that you are now connected to Mother Earth and Father Sky. Now breathe slowly with me. In through your nose out through your mouth. Two, three. One more time. In. Two, three. Out. Two, three. One more time. In through your nose. Two, three. Out. Two, three. That's terrific, okay? Now, now you're ready to connect with other people in a circle or some other sacred space. Most adults do something similar to this to this kind of exercise, only they do so very quickly. And this is very much like anything else that you do. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. But sometimes it feels really good to do it slowly. Getting fast at connecting isn't the reason we do these exercises. Understanding how to connect is the reason we do the exercises. All right, now I want you to shake your hands and wiggle around a little bit, okay? Not too much and not too fast. Just gently and let your hands fall to the sides. Okay, just doing these exercises, we raise some energy. So now we need to ground ourselves. Since we aren't doing a ritual together today, we're not going to connect with other people. And we're not going to raise any more energy right now. Maybe on another episode, we'll try that. For now, we're going to ground. Now, grounding means getting rid of excess energy. Do you remember when I told you that people very often have different ways of doing things? Well, grounding is certainly one of those things that many people do differently and than what I will show you today. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that sometimes at the beginning of a ritual, people will tell you to ground and center yourself. Unfortunately, they're using the word ground in the wrong way. Okay? What they mean is that you're supposed to center and connect like we just finished doing. It isn't up to you though to tell them that what they're saying is wrong. It's up to you to understand what they mean. So if someone tells you to ground at the beginning of the ritual, what they mean is that you're supposed to connect instead. This is just something you need to understand and do for yourself. The other thing is that not everyone will remind you to ground after a ritual, so you may have to remember to do that yourself. It's very important that you ground after you do any kind of energy work or after you've raised energy for yourself, 
Otherwise, you might not feel so good later. You might get a headache, you might feel icky, or you might just be bouncing off the walls, or you may even cry. So it's very important that you learn to ground after doing any kind of energy work to get rid of the extra energy. Most of the time you'll feel very, very good after working with energy and you may not want to ground. But I want you to remember that this is a very, very important part of working with energy. You can, however, ground at any time at all, no matter if you raised energy at all, or whether you didn't. Sometimes grounding will just make you feel better, especially if you're feeling too hyper or if you're feeling a little unsettled for some reason. So, now I'm going to lead you through the grounding exercise. Remember, the reason we're doing this is to get rid of extra energy, not the energy that makes you feel good or that you need or you may want to hang on to, but the extra energy which may make you feel bad later and that the, and that the universe can use to make into something that helps others or helps our planet. Remember, all energy is transformed. So when you rid yourself of the extra energy, the earth or nature or goddess will use it for something else. So bring your hands back to the center of your chest and breathe deeply in through your nose. Two, three, out through your mouth. Two, three. Now close your eyes and keep breathing nicely. Not too deep and not too shallow. I want you to imagine yourself as completely filled with the color lavender. The reason I want you to imagine lavender is because each color has a different frequency. Each color has a different vibration. Each will make you feel differently just looking at it or thinking about it. Lavender is a kind of light purple color and will help you to feel calm and relaxed. Now in through your nose and out through your mouth. One more time, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now I want you to turn that lavender light that you are filled with into a lavender liquid, something like a milkshake, only warm, not cold. Can you imagine yourself filled with warm lavender liquid? In through your nose, out through your mouth. Two, three. Now repeat after me. Energy, energy. Time for you to go. Down and down, back down you flow. Now I want you to imagine that the lavender liquid, that extra energy in your body, is leaking out the bottom of your feet into a puddle on the ground. The level of liquid or energy in your body is spilling onto the ground and into the earth all around you. I want you to help push it out of your body by wiping both of your hands on your chest downward. That's it. Can you see it? Can you imagine the feeling of letting it go? Can you feel that your energy level is going down a little bit? Do you still feel good? Well, of course you do. Now push it down even further by wiping your hands on your thighs. That's it. Now lift your knees up one at a time, a few times, just gently, not stomping. Remember to use your imagination to feel the lavender liquid leaving your body and making a puddle on the ground. The puddle isn't very big because the energy keeps melting into the ground. Mother Earth is drinking it up or absorbing the energy you are giving back to her. Energy, energy, time for you to go. Down, down, back you flow. That's good. Now shake your hands at your side, then touch the center of your chest and throw your hands up into the air. One, two, three! Thank you, universe, for all the energy. Three, four, five! It makes me feel alive. Let's do it again. You ready? One, two, three! Thank you, universe, for all the energy. Three, four, five! It makes me feel alive. 
Thank you, God and Goddess, for all the things you do. Now I give my ener my extra energy back to both of you. Yay! Now clap your hands three times, and you're done. Doesn't that feel good? Sure it does. Some people will tell you that the ground, all you have to do is to touch the ground, or the grass, or to hug a tree, and they're right. Yes, they are. But if you're watching this show, then you're probably not outside. So I wanted to be sure to give you more than one way to ground. And remember, if you do touch the ground or hug a tree, use your imagination and intention to let go of the energy to give it back to Goddess or God or the universe. Now you know how to center, how to connect, and how to ground. I hope you'll practice so you'll enjoy being in circle just as much as I do.